So I've been associated with IHS um, for almost three years in Bangalore and a little bit before that in South Africa. My uh, work with IHS is uh, right now uh, focusing a lot on climate change and adaptation in particular, but my background is in sustainability. So what I'm interested in is many aspects of sustainability and sustainable development and to see where um, the concerns of sustainability converge with those of climate change. So that was my motivation initially to work with Aruma Revi, the director at IHS, on the IPCC Chapter 4, uh, sorry, Chapter 8, which looks at urban areas and climate change. And um, since then, uh, we worked on putting together a program that brought together climate change adaptation with disaster risk reduction and human development for uh, government officials and development practitioners. So that search continued and um, trying to understand how these different um, uh, discourses attend to the needs and um, the vulnerability of primarily the poor in India and developing countries uh, in a broader way. So the project that I'm leading right now called um, Karya uh, and the consortium in South Asia, ASAR, is focused on climate adapt adaptation in semi-arid regions of India. So we uh, have a team of seven to ten people depending on how many interns are working on the project at a given time. And we working collaboratively with UCT um, in Cape Town. UEA in the UK and START, which is a capacity building focused organization in the US and several other African partners to address the question of um, climate adaptation in rural and then in India we bring together rural with urban and the concerns around um, vulnerability as it uh, moves or changes when people, for example, migrate from um, rural to urban areas. Interesting components of this work um, look at governance as it's taking um, a lot of studies are finding that issues around uh, uh, service delivery and access to health for example or housing or um, economic opportunities are uh, rooted in many ways in challenges of governance in urban areas and then how they interact with state governments as well as national policy and national government. Other interesting components of this research look at climate science and how knowledge that is generated by climate scientists, for example, feeds into the use uh, sphere, which is both at the community level. So how do farmers actually have access to? Uh, how is their access differentiated depending on their position in society, in their um, community? to uh, climate information and um, how does this information or knowledge on climate science reach policy makers or decision makers uh, for f that whose decisions will impact livelihoods and um, vulnerability in say regions where climate is changing um, quite more or uh, changing in such ways that it affects the population more than in other areas. Um, knowledge systems is an interesting component also of this project and um, again we are starting out with the second phase of the project and a lot of my time goes into that. In addition, uh, what we are exploring is what we call the third space. So um, personally I am very interested in how people from different disciplines approach the same problem, for example of sustainability. So whether you're an economist or a climate scientist or a social development worker, you have different ways of engaging with the normative goal of sustainability. And what enables or what um, is a barrier in these different kinds of people from different disciplines working together or not being able to work together in order to improve the condition or um, current status of people whom they imagine would benefit from their work. So um, in this project what we have learned is that a lot of institutions depending on whether they are uh, NGOs or purely academic or science institu um, uh, institutions have very different kind of cultures that they come from and pursue different uh, methodologies of working and um, uh, subscribe to different uh, languages almost. 
So the third space is where um, we hope we, we a, a, a creative space which we can cre create within this project where different stakeholders can actually come together and work creatively to identify strategies that can then be scaled up. So I know it sounds like a lot of words, but um, the aim is that um, IHS provides the platform where um, again young, young people who are pursuing their education and realize that settlements, human settlements, whether they are urban or rural are going to be the seats of future uh, challenges and opportunities. And uh, through this project and other projects, how we could uh, create both a learning place for the, these youngsters and um, produce knowledge which is of use.